wait, 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 wait. We're not in Mexico and back on Papillon yet. Nope. We are back in Kima, Texas, packing up the Jeep to drive to the boat. You heard me right. We are driving 1,500 miles through Mexico to get back to Papillon and load up everything you can think of that we may need for this refit, including gallons of epoxy, paint, and rolls of fiberglass. Let's do this. What day is it? It is Sunday, whatever today's date is, uh, early August. And what are you about to go do? Uh, drive across Mexico with a very, very full car of stuff. Yeah. For uh, Papillon, so. For the boat. Uh, the major refit, uh, begins, so. Mm. All right, well. Bye. Mm. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Somewhere in Mexico. Just leaving Kerrville after spending a day helping uh, my parents uh, put up some trim, hung some doors, get generally the last touches to mostly get a property that my parents own ready to rent. Uh, my parents were super happy to get that done. And now off to the border, uh, about three hours away. And uh, Looking forward to uh, seeing if getting to the border really works, Biz. Uh, you might be able to tell I am absolutely stuffed into this car with so much stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, uh, well, I'll get back to y'all later. Bye. So instead of driving the entire way with Travis, I left Houston, Texas and flew to Veracruz. Not only was the flight really cheap, but the experience was a little bit better for both of us. Trust me, that Jeep was packed to the brim. <laughs> Hello. Very ready to see the boat. Very ready to see Papillon, that's for sure. It's been six months. Um, I think we'll have like an 11 hour drive. I think Veracruz to Chiapas. Hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I hit a bump and then the car stopped running. Fuel pump, I think maybe lost connection. Uh, is I'm not showing any fuel in a half full fuel tank. So that makes sense. Um, this is where I am, somewhere in Mexico. I could look up where it is, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Okay, so I coasted down the hill, back behind those guys, and I moved under this tree, which is a much more comfortable place to uh, pitter with a car. And uh, turns out it was a fuse. Uh, this little guy here, you can see this loop of wire because I can't seem to find my spare fuses, so I'm going to be extra ghetto. Uh, if the car catches on fire, well, that's why. Uh, so, uh, hopefully this works well. Uh, I'm going to head over to a gas station. There's one I think about a thousand feet in front of me. And see if I can get the proper fuse for it, or at least something close. Yeah. See, si, bien. Yeah. Let's get started. Yeah, that's one ah, one word, one word. Yeah. No, aquí, yeah. te voy bien. Ah. Yeah. Alright. Aquí hay un santuario, es la entrada a la Virgen del Chorrito. Sí, ok, sí. mucho que esté. Sí, Tapachula, Chapas. Sí, Tapachula. Sí. Alright, my new friend here. Fuerte. Mi amigo. <laughs> well, Travis just picked me up. Yay. Now I was going to pull out a camera. He can't even see out the back. Oh, I can. See right there. That's the back. Yeah. 
I can make it bigger. I got pulled over, not pulled over, but I got the red light for being inspected of my stuff. But there we are, Veracruz. We've made it to Veracruz anyway. Yay! And uh, it's hot. It's warmer here than it is back home. That's for sure. But hey there. Okay, I have just checked in to Mexico. I've paid my taxes for all the stuff in the car. It uh, feels really good to be through there. It's like a, a weight on my chest that has been lifted. Now all I have to do is get past all the cartels and I should be uh, home free. Super exciting. All right, well, talk to you guys later. Ah, joys and fun of governments. Yay! So we had a lot of friends and family that were very concerned for our safety and felt that driving through Mexico was not worth the risk. I'm here to say, luckily their worries were put at ease when we arrived at Papillon safely. There were a lot of roads that if you had not known, you would have felt you were driving through Colorado or coastal USA. Driving through Mexico is fairly uneventful for us. Google Maps, on the other hand, at times took us on roads that had us questioning, but usually always brought us to our destination. In this case, a paint store. This is what the drive into Marina Chiapas looks like. It's been a wonderful marina and yard to do most of our major projects on Papillon. And we've made many friends while being here. Most recently, Becca and Zach of Sailing Tailey. And several friendly other cruisers. There is for sure something special about cruisers. We love telling stories and boy do we like our drinks by the pool. And well, here we are, arriving at the boat for the first time in seven months, and it's now time to unload the car. I'm pretty sure the chassis was glad. The car raised about four inches after we unloaded it. So many trips up and down the ladder with all of our stuff. It seemed like such a mountain of things to get aboard the boat, but we got it done and everything straightened out and organized. And yeah, we're about to jump right back into boat projects. Oh, boat projects. Let's do this. We have our chain plates. They are in the car. It is probably more exciting than it should be. Maybe not. I know. I think it's Ooh. pretty exciting. Look at this. I mean, that's that's really close. The the polish I have. Yeah. Would make these perfect. Mm. He just he just didn't have the right the, tools. The right tools. That's all it was. These took a while in the making quite some time actually but very happy that they are finally done and uh, we can start putting the boat back together that is the whole point right this is the second half of the lowers second half of the lowers and then i have the really big heavy ones <laughs> to carry up which i think one of those weighs more than two of these Really? Yeah. <laughs> here is lined up with our hole up here. And you can see our large gap here. That's pushed all the way in. You can see it just progressively gets further. I mean well, that's a big problem. Well, we before I go over and talk to him, I'm going to check the other one. Maybe what I need to do is just go over there and see. But we need to go over and find the old ones. The difference is just my needs at this point for one of them, right? So this is before. Oh. And then, and now we're down to A lot closer. A lot closer. As with all boat projects, modifications are always needed to be done. And with the shop's help and a little bit of elbow grease of our own, we were able to get it done. Here you need to watch the Jeep as it raises as we unload it. Pretty funny. 
While we waited for the shop to finish our chain plates, we decided to grind down her bottom to bare fiberglass. And at the end of the trip, we decided to treat ourselves. We went out to the foothills of Volcana Tacana and had an amazing experience out there. Flew the drone, did some hiking, and uh, got to experience the other side of Chiapas, Mexico, which was really pretty. And yeah, who wouldn't like seeing that every morning, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous volcanoes. Really worth the trip up here, if you're able to. Anyway, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode and see what crazy stuff we get into next as we finish the chain plate install and splash the boat. Cheers! Yeah, it looks like it still has some of the mill finish on it. I think it does. So this one might be definitely worth waiting on. Oh, that may be. To the 21st. I mean, we can Oh yeah, this, this one's going to need sanding. Beetlejuice? <laughs> in the movie where she's sitting in the chair and the thing wraps around her, this is exactly like Beetlejuice in a way. It, it just reminds me of it every single time. I tend to see it. Yeah. But Beetlejuice needs some work. Okay, where are we, Travis? We are in front of Blackburn Marine. Uh, after doing comparison shopping, various places, uh, Blackburn is our best place to get epoxy and bottom paint and uh, our through holes. And so we're going to go in and spend more money at one time than I think I ever have on anything other than a car or a boat. What's on the list? We have uh, what looks like it's going to be six gallons of epoxy, uh, through holes everywhere, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch, three quarter inch. Uh, we've got some exhaust hose. Uh, we've got zincs for the prop, uh, deck fill hose. And then we've got uh, fiberglass, uh, peel ply, and some other things for doing our vacuum bagging. Uh, last night I ordered a vacuum pump, so we get to have the excitement of learning how to do vacuum bagging. Yeah, which we tried to, uh, you know, pick Jesse's brain, a guy that works here, a really, really awesome guy, about vacuum bagging and uh, all that stuff. And uh, we both learned a bit. Um, maybe someday we'll get a video out to you on that, hopefully. Yes, someday. Maybe we'll be experts at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, what else? Uh, that is the big stuff. Um, I know there's lots of little bits and pieces that he's got for vacuum bagging. Like stir sticks and cups and uh, plastic. Oh, yes. and I, don't ha I don't have those listed, but we do need those as well. Yeah, lots of stuff. So we're not going to film much in the store because, you know, privacy and things like that. But um, We'll probably take a video of it on the counter. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we do. Okay, but it's getting hot in this car. It uh, is warm. For ideal audio, because our microphones have not arrived, mm -hmm. uh, we have the air conditioning off, and it's Texas in July, so yeah. uh, another minute or so you could see roasted turkeys in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. So we're pretty lucky that we had a wonderful chandelier like Blackmore Marine right down the street to do a lot of our provisioning for the boat um, for this refit. And we did get a lot of major ticket items that we needed. This was a really long day and a very expensive day, I would say. But we eventually got all these items back down to the boat, which was such a feat in itself. And uh, the refit's on its way. Super exciting. How much did we spend? Glad you asked. <laughs> Anything else, sir? No. So, what's the uh, damage? Uh, what was the estimates? Your guess? Oh, mine was, I think, three thousand. I was thinking four. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's closer. 30, Yay! Thirty-one seventy ninety-eight. I win. You win. win. The girl knows how to shop. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, but you haven't gotten the epoxy yet. So. No. There's that. And y'all haven't been to the liquor store yet, right? Nope. <laughs> the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> to your left. Come on. Come on. Hit that subscribe button. Show us some love.
Cheers.